You just check the mail and you have a letter from the NCDOT. What the heck do they want from you? I'm Tiffany Weber. I'm an attorney with Thomas & Weber and we practice here locally in Mooresville Lake Norman area. Maybe you're wondering, why did the NCDOT send me a letter saying that they were going to take my property? Today in this video, I'm going to explain to you what the eminent domain process is, uh, what it means, why the government's allowed to do it, and what might happen whether you decide to go forward with an attorney or without. Eminent domain and condemnation mean the same thing. It is the legal right that the government has to take private property for public use. A great example around Mooresville are all of the road widening projects going on. While it's great for everyone, it does mean that private properties will be affected. So if it's your property, it's not the whole lot. Uh, usually it's just a sliver as at the edge of your parcel or whatever is only absolutely necessary to get the project completed. You're probably wondering why the government is even allowed to do this and it's a legal right, they're able to do it, but you as a landowner, you also have the right to be paid a fair amount for the land that's taken by the government. So whenever you get the letter or you read about the project that's coming, you're wondering how is this all going to work? Well, the first thing that's going to happen after the property has been identified to be taken by the government is it's going to be appraised. And then after that, the government is going to make you an offer. Now that offer might sound good to you at the time, uh, but it's likely not the best offer that you can get. So if you decide to take the first offer, the process is done. The government's going to take the property and you're only going to get exactly what they offered you. But you could negotiate. If you don't accept the government's offer, they're still going to move forward with the project. The project is not stopping just because you say no to the first number. What's going to happen next is the government will file an action, a condemnation action, an eminent domain, whatever you want to call it, and it's going to be an official lawsuit. The good news is if the government does file a condemnation action, that doesn't mean you're going to get any less for the property than they initially offered to you. The government will set aside that amount of money and continue on with the project so that the two parties, the government and you, can continue negotiating for what is going to ultimately be a fair value for the property. So now that you're in a lawsuit with the government over this property, there are a lot of things that have to go on, just like any other lawsuit. So you're going to have to answer the lawsuit, which means making a court filing. You're going to have to conduct discovery, which means getting experts, sending written questions to the government to be answered in a certain amount of time. You're eventually going to, if you don't settle before then, have to go to mediation, where a mediator is a neutral third party trying to bring you and the government closer together on a number. And if that doesn't work, then you're going to trial. That involves picking a jury, getting exhibits together, having your experts ready to testify. So as you can see, it is a lot of work. Not only is it a lot of work, but it's expensive and it takes a lot of time. So that's why hiring an attorney can help you greatly throughout this process. If you want an attorney to look at your case, most firms, including ours, don't charge a fee to do that. We do not get paid unless you make more money than the initial offer. So now you know what eminent domain is, which is the government's right to take private property for public use. You know that the process can be short if you take the initial offer, or it could be long if you go to trial. And there's a lot that goes on in between. I'm Tiffany Weber, a real estate attorney with Thomas & Weber in Mooresville. And if we can help you, give us a call.